Have you ever heard of a former TV show called My Life at Teenage Robot? If you guys don't know what the show is, then it would be uh, the perfect time to explain. My Life at Teenage Robot is a show around the Nickelodeon and in tunes back in 2003. I did watch all the episodes back in 2017, and my favorite character was Jenny, but it, it got cancelled back in 2009. But now I will tell the honor reboot on Netflix that made me have nightmares at night. It was September 13, 2020, 7 p.m. EDT. I was on my phone drawing Jenny, the awesome girl that I know and love. 13 minutes later, I received a private message from Netflix. I got shot when I, no, when it was actually talking to me on Instagram. Him and I were discussing on how these Netflix shows and Netflix movies were going. Red Hastings, the founder of Netflix, had sent me 20 episodes from a season 1 with the name only Never Mind of a Teenage Robot. Is that an even a reboot of a Netflix show? I asked. On my death watch and make sure no matter what you're watching us, however, the trauma is you. It might bring your interest on my life a teenage robot. Then he thought it was some weird door show or something like that. It began to play the intro, playing no one. Nothing seemed wrong when the intro got when the same song played, but it's I saw something that got me confused is that. The sugar teeth bands, horror, and use of drugs. It does get suspicious. After the intro, the show a title card saying the regular Dotty Exe, but the star card started glitching a lot. And then it show a view of, of a haunted house. Everything seemed quiet. No music playing, but it was nothing but nature sounds in the background. Cut off was shown back then on the tree stuff. But what's got out of me a little worried was that bad. The bad seemed to me like it was very thin. Its face almost looked like a bowl. Its claws were outstretched, almost like a cat stretched with its claws. And rivers were showing below its body. Of fighting, no, memories of Jenny fighting her and me suddenly shown up. <gasps> Why, you little? The bat said it sounded like its voice was having toxic moments, which is from a vampire. It turns into a vampire and tries to find someone to kill. Wait, does me? Does he mean Jenny? But that's not possible! What kind of people put that idea onto the episode? I said in my mind of easily overreacting. I continued to watch the production of this show. The scene showed Jenny with a sign with a warning that it's a danger. Vampires that might bite you in this place. Oh, hell no! Jenny said she's, when she saw the warning in, in the sign. Did she say hell? That never happens in the in, 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 you know, original Nintendo show. I said after I paused the video, but I thank myself if this show is about to be violent. It will ruin my childhood, even my interest on M-L-A-A-T-R. I had no choice but to continue the video. But Jenny heard something so loud so far away. So she has no choice to leave this place. Jenny, no! You... You said you'll never enter this goddamn place! I tell you. Jenny! Come back! The screen has golden braised hair with his young stars on board. 
10 seconds. All I heard was blood splatters and loud screams. These were from kids, but they, but they sound realistic. Wait a second. If they can find us a phrase and MLAAATR crossover, if they were some sort of angriness. The vampire's name is Count Dracula. The, he's the one who kills people, and he and, he and Jenny saw themselves. If you're the world's favorite superhero, you must be strong and destroyed by death. Dracula said with super anger. When Dracula took Jenny's neck, then Dracula took Jenny's neck, making her hand. So Jenny took a knife and cut Dracula's head. Dracula's head and blood fell into the floor. That she will never come back here ever again. And the episode ends with the classic end credits from the cartoon. I was tearing up. Dude, why in the content war was that? The Netflix had replied, I told you.